mushroom lovers, non-mushroom lovers, you're gonna love these mushroom pies, guaranteed. If you want to make the most flavorsome, most tastiest mushroom pies, then you're in the right spot. Welcome to my kitchen. We are here today to make some super flavorsome, vegan friendly mushroom pies. This recipe has been a favorite of mine over the last couple of years. Got some maple syrup in there that adds some sweetness and a bunch of veggies in here as well. Trust me, this filling is so delicious, you have to try it out. These mushroom pies are so easy to make as well. As you can see here, I've only got a handful of ingredients and hopefully you know me by now, I love a simple, easy, and delicious recipe and this mushroom pie is it right now. Anyway, friends, we've just got a handful of ingredients. Like I said, we've just got some onion here, one brown onion, we've got one zucchini, we've got about three, four cups of mushrooms, button mushrooms that we're gonna chop up. We've got a can of coconut milk. Full fat coconut milk is definitely what you wanna get. You get like a nice creamy sauce with this one. We've got two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then we've got two tablespoons of tomato paste couple garlic cloves minced up here as well and then just a big handful of spinach and that is it simple ingredients we're just going to chop all these ingredients up now chug it onto this fry pan that is on a little bit of a heat with some olive oil right now and then wait until you see the final product you are going to love it So there we go friends, just chopped up zucchini, mushrooms, a massive pile here at the moment. I'll chuck down the full recipe in the comments below for you to check out the save. But I really hope you enjoy these mushroom pies. I love them, my family loves them, and I'm sure you're gonna love them as well. So all we're gonna do straight off is just brown up your, your veggies here, your onion, your mushroom, your zucchini, and your garlic. Now it seems like a lot of mixture here, but what you can do with this mixture, you can cook all this up and then you could probably chuck it in the fridge for about a week. Otherwise you can freeze it as well and then chuck it in pies whenever you want or just eat it straight out. It is a fantastic filling. So this has been cooking away for about five minutes. So it is browning up now. So this is looking fantastic. So all we're gonna chuck in now is just our little sauce ingredients. So as I said earlier, two tablespoons of maple syrup two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and then also we have a teaspoon of Moroccan seasoning here, so a little bit more flavor in it. So we're just gonna stir this around for a couple minutes so everything is coated in those flavors, and then we're gonna whack in our coconut milk as well. We've got our coconut milk in here, we've got our spinach as well. So all we're gonna do now is let this simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. The sauce will start to thicken up. If you really wanna fasten up that cooking process, that thickening up process, you can also add in a little bit of corn flour to help with that process. So this sauce has thickened up incredibly well. It looks delicious, it smells delicious. And I know it tastes delicious as well. So all we've got now is just some puff pastry. You probably need a couple sheets of puff pastry to make our pies. And I want to introduce you to one of my favorite devices. It is, of course, the pie maker. It is essentially the sandwich press for the pie making world. All it is, chuck in your puff pastry base, chuck in your filling, chuck in a puff pastry top, Press down, couple minutes, boom, easy pies. You can honestly say goodbye to your muffin tray. That is the alternative if you do not have a pie maker. These pie makers are really affordable, about $25 at Kmart. Otherwise, you can use your muffin tray and do the same principle of doing your base, filling in, puff pastry on top, chuck it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. All we are doing now, we're just gonna have our base, chuck in the filling, press it down, and easy, delicious mushroom pies.
These were super simple to put together in absolutely no time. You're gonna make probably about a dozen pies with this recipe and they're honestly gonna get demolished so quickly. Massive hit in this household, you're gonna love it. And if you have not yet, definitely get yourself a pie maker. It makes life so much easier. Check out that one from Kmart. Otherwise, there are a bunch of other brands. So if you have a pie maker, please let me know in the comments below. And please let me know if you are gonna try out this recipe. I am sure you're gonna love it. So definitely do give it a shot. I am guaranteeing you're gonna love it. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This pie is gonna go down an absolute treat in a moment. So while you're here, definitely check out this video right here, this cooking demo. I'm sure you're gonna love this one as much as this mushroom pie one. So until next time, friends, I'll catch you very soon.